Hey guys, welcome back, Voltsweater here. This is my third time attempting to record this video because I forgot a card and needed to grab something to for a little research I did. So let's get right into it. Today we have our ban list predictions for September. And before I start this prediction video off, I am going to be predicting the date of the ban list. Now people are saying it was going to be this week, like Friday, Saturday, like Thursday, Friday, throughout the whole week but I did some research and it looks like we are in a pattern from April till now we have the lovely 3 and 10 now what is 3 and 10 we have Heroes Revenge it released on the 12th back in July of 2019 three days later the ban list went into effect and then 10 days after that Rira came out which is Rising Rampage and it has happened since then we have also October, January, April, and June following that same pattern. So it's either the ban list gets implemented or the ban list gets announced. So if we look at this month, we have Dragon Legends coming out today and tomorrow, Europe and North America. Then after that, I'm predicting September 14th is going to be the day because right after after September 14th, 10 days after that, is Rage of Ra with the Makira Destructor Arata. But Makira Destructor is not on my prediction list yet. If the ban list comes out in October, it will be in my prediction list. But anyways, enough of that. Let's go on to our ban list predictions. And these two cards go hand in hand, being... Link Cross and Mecha Phantom Beats Aurora Dawn. We all know the story about token generators, how they always get hit. Scapegoat and Sky Blaster at one. Grandigal and 72 Tomahawk or 42 Tomahawk are actually limited. Okay, so my reasoning with Link Cross. If we look at the OCG, it took six months for it to get banned. That is good incentive to actually ban this card without really having that many events. And Aurora Dawn is Aurora Dawn. It helps create a double negate board and you don't need link cross for it. link cross is just a little extra on the side to get you a few draws now with aurora Dawn, it does hinder some decks consistency with going as a synchro but we really need to tone down the synchro spam in this meta because it's actually a lot and link banning both link cross and aurora Dawn will seem to help that now after that, the next card we have is Utopic X S0, Zexel. This card is a big no you button, and it's a card that I could see definitely going because it has outpassed its prime. And if this card comes back, they could potentially bring back Argent Chaos Force, but I'm not too sure about that because it's another form of, oh, I get two types of discard. And Konami doesn't really like discard cards that recur back to the hand like Night of Salem's at one but I can see Utopic Zexical getting banned because Numeron came out they didn't reprint it whenever they don't reprint a card that means they usually ban it when a new form of what is it a new form of support comes out because if you look at Numeron that set that whole set with fossils and all that Zexical wasn't reprinted and with that information, it's probably on the chopping block. And plus, it's an old card back from where Maximum Crisis came out I before a little. I'm not too sure. But the card has stayed and it's had its final points. I can't form any words with Zexel because I just... The card's not... it. I If you have the out, you have the out and all that next card we have smoke grenade it is free knowledge and you rip a card out of your opponent's hand that is pretty 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 good for infernoble knight and it's one of the original hand cards from back in the day you used, i think you used to pair it with um you free the iron knight so you can get a few hand rips along with butterfly dagger elma because why not rip three cards out of your opponent's hand, then you just OTK them with Exodia. Or FTK them with Exodia? Yeah, pretty good. And the final card is LP because I want them to curve the power of Dragon Link as 
Dragon Link, if they hit all these other decks, they have to hit some form of dragon. Every list, it seems like they've been hitting dragon a lot. So, and that's my hit. And I see a lot of people predicting LP. I definitely see LP because Pisty is the balanced one as it summons from Grave and Banished. Well, LP summons from Deck and Hand. Anything that summons from Deck is somewhat of a problem unless if you deal with the cards that it goes into, which are the token generators. I'm talking about you, Halka Fibrex. People are thinking Halka Fibrex will be up in this big section of the band. It's not because it has product armor. Next card, we have Blaster, Dragon Rulers of Inferno. I feel like it's time that another Dragon Ruler can come off the list to one because Tempest isn't really seeing play and it's going to help with the Dragonity structure deck if we have Blaster, but it's a fire while Dragonities are wind and I think the deck also locks you into wind. So a targeting destruction that is a two for one can come off the list as Tempest just searches out of dragon but blaster pops for a two for one which both sides are bad they're only going to be used as extenders then after that we have my next pick of performer pal skull Corbat joker return to the one skull Corbat joker is that one card that when it's normal summoned not special summoned, when it's only normal summoned you get a search of a odd eyes magician pendulum monster or a performer pal now, what are some cards that you're going to be searching and searching? Harmonizing Magician only. And with the ban of Electromite, Pendulums have seemed to fall off the face of the map, so I'm giving them a little something so they can have a little consistency boost of what they lost with the ban of Electromite. Sure, it is a powerful card, but it's, it's a normal summon searcher, and Stratos is a way better card than this card. Which is sad. But then we have the next card being Black Dragon to 1. This hurts the consistency of seeing Black Dragon and the consistency of the deck. Because if you banish the one Black Dragon, what are they going to do? Extend into millions? Mm, that's going to be a little hard. But with Black Dragon to 1, this means it's going to be an incentive to actually play more Nemesis cards. Like more Keystone. Because I see them already playing that with Century Soldier of Stone. Or even running a Corridor and... Or flag and keystone because flag gets your keystone or any of your nemesis monsters. Uh, I do have a soft side for rocks, but I don't really see them murdering any decks right now because they still want the decks to function outside of what people want. Because if you ban block dragon, it kills the deck because you don't have your one card that searches all of your pieces that you need. Getting rid of that, the boards are going to be suboptimal. And with me already hitting Link Cross and Orwardon, it does help in the long run because that means they're not getting a free Savage and Herald Negate where, and they're going to have to curve their playstyle in a different way than what they have right now. And hitting Black Dragon 1, I feel like it's better because it actually curves the power of the deck and also makes it where people actually have to be cautious when you use the effect. After that, we have Miscellaneous Source to hit the curve of Dinosaurs. I've, on my actual prediction list on EDO Pro, I am a little more harsh, but on this prediction list, I am going to be less harsh than what I am because I, I've i never liked Dinosaur. I never liked the playstyle of UTC Flip. But hitting Miscellaneous Source to 1 actually hurts the deck a lot because if you look at when it went down to 1 before, it actually... Did a lot where the deck actually just fell off because you only have one and if it gets banished you are you have to be very careful hitting miscellaneous source to one it gets rid of a lot of the protection that the deck has on top of seeing it less because you are essentially running 15 copies i would have put fossil dig on this list because it's exactly like rota but we all know that miscellaneous source is the biggest culprit as it also sums out a tuner from deck that can facilitate in the fiber plays into the link cross and stuff. But on my predictions, I'm getting alerted to cross and Aurora so that's not feasibly possible. After that, we have the Magical Meltdown. Curve the power of invoked engines because it makes it where you're not playing a total of seven copies of Alistair the Invoker. 
Because if you count the terraforming, the triple meltdown, and the three Alistairs. So if you cut down two more copies of meltdown, that leaves you with a total of five copies in total. And this will, might make invoked engines drop off the face of the earth because they lost their main protection for their fusion summons and their main card that searches out Alistair. So if if it gets oh if if this leaves the field on activation, you're kind of screwed because you're not going to see another one. And all in all, all in all, this this prediction list is more to curve the power of a lot of decks like hitting sanguine i know that sanguine really hitting it to one really doesn't do much but it summons the golden lord from the deck with little to no restrictions and it's the primary card that's at three while all the others i could hit um conquistador or hankero but i feel like sanguine would have been better as it's one of the power cards of the deck that they constantly set if they don't have the golden lord on the field so getting rid of the access of having multiples is actually better than having nothing. And I really don't know much about Eldritch, but I know that Sanguine is the one card that they always go into. The next card, we're going on to threes. I have nothing semi-limited because I don't see anything getting semi-limited. We have Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. This card recently got in Rada, and it you own you only summon it once in Dragon Link now. It kind of curved the power, but having a hard once per turn summon and a, a monster reborn effect is interesting to say the least. But overall, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon deserves to come back to three as it it's balanced now. We don't really have to worry about it. Next card is Tour Guide from the Underworld. Just put it to three because at two, I don't know why it's still at two. It's been at two for the, like the past few lists. But putting it to three helps out decks, and also it helps sell the Infernity decks. As Infernities are getting new support in November, and it's definitely going to help them out. Because it's definitely a power card if you normal summon it, but it's a normal summon you're going to have to risk and take. But after that, we have ABC Buster Dragon. This card can come back because ABCs aren't doing anything, even though that they have that one top... But I don't really count it because ABCs and they weren't doing anything prior or even in Master Rule. Well, they were doing a little in Master Rule three, but not enough to actually warrant a hit. Buster Dragon was a card that is amazing, but put it to three because ABCs aren't going to do anything in this meta because of how fast it is. ABCs like a slower control meta, but not a fast-paced combo meta. Then we have Draco Face Off. Draco Face Off, who runs Pendulums in 2020? I don't know. But overall, Draco Face Off is one of those cards that you don't see play anymore because Pendulums are dead. It, for my prediction list, I'm giving Pendulums a few bones, and it's like, here, you guys can have this, but it's not going to do anything. Like, what are you going to do? Put a Lecter Pendulum in scale and get the Luster Pendulum in extra deck if you get the lustre dragon in the extra deck sure but you can only pendulum summon one card from the extra deck if you don't have any link arrows so it's like one of those things draco face off is actually pretty balanced now when you look at it because no one's running pendulums you're not going to get any value off of it if you get the wrong pendulum scale because you can't vomit your extra deck like in master Roll three and What's the most it's gonna do? Summon out a tuner to needle viper plays? I guess, but I feel like it's time for this card can come off or even go to two. And this card goes hand in hand with Ignister because Again Pendulum Buenos Dias Pendulum some Shulkin, I guess. Giving Pendulums a little more power, but the Draco engine fell off super hard when Pendulums went into Master Roll 4. The Draco engine actually just fell off because we haven't seen it in years. It's after Pep 8, or after 
But when the when the ex pep, uh, Draco pals kind of just fell off because it's a small engine. It was a small engine of four cards, and it wasn't good. And I think Konami's still in fear of doing things with pendulums because we haven't seen any new pendulum support. They're just scared of what it might do. But in this current master rule, it's not. They're not doing anything because they killed Electromite, the only source of power that they had. Servant of Endymion went down to one, and just so much happened that they're now just unplayable because if you look if you see someone trying to play pendulums it's not gonna work because they're missing their most powerful link monster sure they have Selene but that only facilitates in spellcaster strategies but giving pendulums a little something back I could even put plush fire to one on this list and that wouldn't have done anything because you need multiple plush fires for that to work but Pendulums are just dead, and I don't see them really going anywhere and as of this point, because all their cards are just, nah. They don't work as a deck anymore. But enough of me ranting and going on about Pendulums and that they're dead, even though I didn't like Pendulums that much in Master Rule 4, but I think it's safe to say that they could start peeling some of the cards off that aren't that powerful, even though Ignister is like one of the most powerful synchro monsters that Pendulums have. But who's running Pendulums again in 2020? Because the whole deck's dead. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy my banlist predictions and the date prediction, which is September 14th. So keep an eye out on that, as that's the date I'm gonna say. But anyways. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Hit that like button down below. And if you have any opinions down in the description below, go ahead. But anyways, I've been Bolt Spider. See you guys in the next video. And goodbye.